party. It is a lovely sunny day. Peppa is feeding Goldie the fish. Mummy, how old is Goldie? Well, I think she must be almost a year old. When is her birthday? Let's see. Her birthday is tomorrow. Can Goldie have a party? Oh, um, perhaps we can have a little party. Daddy, Daddy, Goldie's having a birthday party. A party for a fish. That's fun. I suppose it will be an undersea party with starfish, treasure and mermaids all in an amazing undersea world. Oh, <laughs> yes. It will be the best party ever. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Daddy Pig, what have you done? It's just a game, isn't it? We're not really having a party. Well, yes, I think we are, and it's tomorrow. Oh, I see. OK, keep calm, don't panic. We'll just get some help. Undersea party. Here we go. Undersea parties. Brought to your house by Miss Rabbit. Sounds good. Click here and I'll be straight over. Hello. Wow, that was quick. How many days have I got to plan this party? It's tomorrow. No problem. You go to bed. I've got this. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Good night. Right, let's get to work. <laughs> it is Goldie's birthday. Miss Rabbit has made an amazing undersea world with shells, seaweed and big waves on the walls. Wow! <gasps> you did all this in one night? It's unbelievable! Happy birthday, Goldie! <laughs> oh, who can that be? Well, you said it was a party, so I invited everyone! Happy birthday, Goldie! <laughs> This is Penny Polar Bear. I never been to an undersea party. Bye, Penny. Have a lovely time. <laughs> I've made costumes for everybody. You can be a mermaid, Peppa. Thank you. And here is a crab costume for George. Pinch, pinch. I am Susie Octopus. <laughs> I'm Mandy Shark. Squeak. But I'm not a scary shark. I only eat cheese. <laughs> Penny Polar Bear is a penguin. Grr. Danny Dog is a pirate. Aha! Rebecca Rabbit is, um... I'm a fish finger because I love fish fingers. <laughs> I'm a sea captain and Edmund is a jellyfish. I'm not convinced this costume accurately represents a jellyfish, but I'm not going to spoil the fun. Oh, you all look brilliant. Is everybody ready for the pirate treasure hunt? Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. The first clue is I swim along with a giant tail. I'm the biggest fish in the sea. I'm a... Shark! Almost. I have a giant tail. I'm a... Whale! That's right. <laughs> <laughs> fish in the sea is a whale. Actually, a whale is not a fish, it's a mammal. Edmund Elephant really is extremely clever. <coughs> OK, last clue. I'm buried treasure and X marks the spot. <laughs> Here it is! Hooray! Well done! You've found the treasure! It's teeny tiny. That's because it's for a tiny fish. Ah, this is for you, Goldie. <coughs> Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Goldie. Goldie loves <laughs> undersea parties. Everybody <laughs> loves <laughs> undersea parties. The clubhouse. Pepper and her friends are at the playground today. <laughs> I'm a cheeky monkey. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> this is such a great playground. Yes, the children love it. Once they start playing, they never want to stop. Stop! Here is Mr Bull. Stand back, everyone! Mr Bull, what are you doing? I'm 
digging up the playground! Why are you digging up the playground? So I can make a hole for the concrete. Where do you want the concrete, boss? In the hole. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Ball. I think there's been some kind of mistake. We don't want the playground dug up. The playground is perfect as it is. With you in a moment. Just need to get the concrete done. Concrete starts off soft. Soft, soft, hard, moo. And then concrete sets as hard as rock. OK, sorry about the wait. What exactly were you all asking? What are you doing? I've made a concrete base. But why? To put this clubhouse on. <gasps> if you don't want it, I can take it away again. <laughs> Actually, that does look quite good. It's got a slide and a swing and all kinds of other fancy stuff. <laughs> Let me show you around. This is the front door. It looks a bit small, Mr. Bull. That's because it's not for grown-ups, Daddy Pig. It's for children. Wow! Everything is children's size. Yes, the clubhouse is not too big and not too small, but just right for children. <gasps> There's a toy cooker. The toy cooker is made of wood and has a light that comes on inside. And a toy fridge. It's got plastic cheese inside. There's a telephone. Does it work? Well, it's a toy telephone made out of wood, but you can pretend it works. Ring, 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 ring. Aren't you going ring, to ring, answer that? Ring, ring. Hello, Peppa Pig speaking. <laughs> Who is this? Who is it? It is the king of the world. Thank you. Yes, I am busy right now. Goodbye. Peppa <laughs> loves the wooden telephone. <laughs> this is the hatch with a counter. Ooh. It's like a little shop or a cafe. What do you want from our cafe today, Mr. Bull? Um, what have you got? We have pretend coffee or pretend tea. OK. Pretend tea, please. There you go. Have a nice day. Mmm, that hit the spot. <laughs> Mr Bull likes pretend tea. Can we see the rest of the clubhouse now? Of course. Please go up the ramp to the next floor. <laughs> this is the balcony. Now we're as tall as the grown-ups. Yes. <laughs> and off the end of that balcony is the slide. Whee! Whee! <laughs> Thank you, Mr Bull. Whee! You have done a very good job. Oh, I must admit, it is quite good. Three cheers for Mr. Ball! Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip, hip! Hooray! Ooh, you are most welcome. Ooh, it looks lovely and cosy. Can I go inside? No, Mummy. Grown-ups are not allowed. But could us grown-ups just have a quick look inside? No, Daddy. Why not? Because the clubhouse is for children. <laughs> Peppa loves the clubhouse. All the children love the clubhouse. Detective club. Peppa and her friends are playing in their clubhouse. <laughs> Let's play detectives. This is our detective club, and we will solve mysteries. Ooh. We have to find a mystery. Yes, we can use the telephone. Hello? We are important detectives, and we need a mystery. They said go outside. But that's a wooden telephone. It doesn't work. We're playing a game, Susie. Ah, oh, OK. <laughs> Daddy, we are a detective. Club. That sounds lovely. We solve mysteries. Fantastic. Uh, only problem is it's actually time for us to go home. Oh, but I want to play some more. You can come back to the clubhouse tomorrow. OK, Daddy. Bye, Peppa. Bye. Bye. Oh, <coughs> the 
the car's locked. Daddy Pig cannot open the car door. Uh, and I don't seem to have the key. Until I've found my key, we can't go home. Hooray! We can play more. <laughs> Come back to the detective club, Peppa. <laughs> uh, I wonder if your detective club can help me find my key. Yes, that's a real mystery. OK, <laughs> we'll help you, Daddy. Thank you. The key must be somewhere around here. If we all crawl around looking on our hands and knees, we might find it. No, we are detectives. We do not crawl around on our hands and knees. I see. We have clever ways to do things. Maybe there's a way to open the car without a key. Um, we could ring the police. Yes, they can open locked cars. Phone the police. This is the police station. Slow day today. If only we had something to do. <sighs> Phone the police? That's brilliant. Uh, only problem is, where have I put my phone? It's in the car. Daddy Pig's phone is locked inside the car. That's not good. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit. Can I use your phone? Sorry, old chap. I left my phone at home. But looks like there's a phone in the clubhouse. Fantastic. Uh, how do I use this thing? It's a toy phone. It's made of wood. Let me have a go. I do have quite a loud voice. Grumpy Rabbit has the loudest voice in the world. Someone's calling for help! We've got ourselves a job! To the police car! Did someone shout for help? Yes! We've got an emergency! What kind of emergency? Flood? Earthquake? Tornado? Um, I'm locked out of my car. Daddy can't drive us home! Good thing you called us. That was our idea. Good work, children. We'll take it from here. Daddy Pig, where is your car key? I've lost it. Key is lost. This might sound very silly, but have you looked in all the obvious places, like your pockets? My key! Daddy Pig's key was in his pocket. That's funny. I didn't even know I had pockets. Mystery solved. All thanks to the quick thinking of these young children. We are detectives. And this is our clubhouse. Very smart. I wish we had a clubhouse. We do. It's called the police station. Yes, but the police station doesn't have a slide or a swing. Yes, our clubhouse is the best in the whole world. Pepper and her friends love the clubhouse. Everyone loves the clubhouse. Clubhouse shop. Pepper and her friends are playing in their clubhouse. <laughs> what game should we play today? Let's play shop. Yay! Shop, 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 shop. The clubhouse has a counter, like a little shop. What are we going to sell? We've got toy plastic fruit and cheese in the fridge. The little shop is open. Ho, ho, ho. What can we buy? Plastic fruit and plastic cheese. Can I have some plastic cheese, please? Yes, Mummy. And maybe a plastic apple to go with it. Thank you. That will be a lot of money, please. Oh, dear. I didn't bring any money with me today. That's OK. You can use these buttons. Lovely. Here are two buttons. Thank you. <laughs> Have a nice day. What else do you sell? Um, we've got my toy, Owly. Twig to woo. OK, I'll buy Owly. Here is a button. Thank you. Now Owly is yours. Ooh, it's lovely and cuddly. Can I have Owly back now? What? But I've just bought it for a button. It's just a pretend shop, Mummy. Oh, of course. Owly. Susie Sheep loves her toy owl. Next. 
I'm feeling thirsty. Do you have any fruit juice? Um, no. Sorry, Daddy. But we can order some in. The clubhouse has a toy wooden telephone. Hello. We need fruit juice. Thank you. Goodbye. They said we'll have their fruit juice tomorrow. Oh, I see. OK, see you tomorrow. Have a nice day. Next. Have you got any cakes? Yes, Mummy. We've got a cake in the toy oven. The toy oven is made of wood and has a light that comes on inside. What kind of cake do you want it to be? Um, can it be a carrot cake? OK, it's a carrot cake. That looks delicious. I can't wait to try it. <sighs> it's a plastic toy cake, Mummy. It's not real. Of course. And how much does it cost? One button, please. Have a nice day. Next. What else are you selling in your shop today? Um, we've got magic clothes. Oh, are they invisible clothes? Yes. They are made with the finest cloth. Fantastic. I'll look like an emperor. They cost five buttons. Very expensive. But I suppose that's what you have to pay for invisible clothes. You can try them on if you like, Mr Pig. Leave your old clothes here. Thank you, but I think I'll try them on at home. Have a nice day. That was quite a cue. Now it's finally my turn. I'd like to buy a... Sorry, Daddy, we're closing. Bye. Have a nice day. <laughs> it is time for the children to take a break. It is hard work running a shop. Ice cream! Here is Mr Labrador in his ice cream van. <laughs> Hello, children. What can I get you? Hang on! These are just buttons. The buttons are pretend money. Of course! Pretend money. How charming. Oh, oh, I'm afraid I haven't got any real money either. No problem, Mr Fig. We take cards. So, that's all the children's ice creams and one for you. Thank you very much. <laughs> this is the best clubhouse in the whole wide world. Pepper and her friends love the clubhouse. Everyone loves the clubhouse. Clubhouse adventure. Pepper and her friends are playing in their clubhouse. <laughs> what game shall we play today? Let's play adventures. Outside our clubhouse is a forest full of yes, dangerous yes, yes. wild animals. Yes, yes. I'll email the numbers over later when I've got access to the... The friends. wild animals are yes, outside. Yes, are as long as we stay inside, we are safe. I like this game. <laughs> the spreadsheet numbers were copy and pasted from documents. Daddy! Format. Daddy! Uh, I'll call you back. Someone's asking me something. You have to be a wild animal. Oh, ho! Oh. I think I can manage that. You are in a forest. OK. I'll be a wild pig. <laughs> I'm a dangerous wild pig living in the forest. And we are safe in our little house. <laughs> we need more wild animals. Mummy! Yes, Mandy? You have to be a scary animal. Um, OK. I will be a wild mouse. Squeak! Squeak! <gasps> Mummy, that's not even a little bit scary. Sorry. Can you growl? Growl? Well, I could have a go, but I'm not sure. Ah! Oh, Mummy, goodness, Mummy, Polar Bear, you gave me a shock. Grrr! Polar Bears like growling. Wow, they are good. My mummies are best at growling. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky we're safe inside. <laughs> you can't get us. Our house is too strong. What's your house made of? Straw, sticks or brick? Um, it's made of plastic. 
Jolly good. Let's see how strong it is. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. The clubhouse is very strong. Impressive. Yes, Daddy. So you will have to stay outside with the other wild animals. Let's make the game more scary. Yes! We can pretend there's a jungle outside with real jungle animals. We need a jungle animal, like a tiger. Oh, I can sound like a tiger. Is that any good? No. Well, how about a lion? Stop, Mummy. My friends are here. I can roar. That's really good. Oh, oh, I am a bit of an expert. No one can do a lion better than me. <laughs> it is Mr. Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, everyone. Uh, hello, Mr. Lion. Hello. And here is Mrs. Crocodile. Uh, we've had a problem at the zoo. Uh, don't panic, but some animals have escaped. <laughs> 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 We heard lots of strange noises coming from here and wondered if the zoo animals had passed this way. Uh, those noises were just us. We were playing at being wild animals. I see. <laughs> we'll be on our way then. Um, these escaped animals you're looking for, what are they? Do they have big teeth? No, they've got beaks. Do they roar? No, they make a sound like... <laughs> It is the penguins from the zoo. Oh, they're so cute. Ah, <laughs> uh, there you are, you cheeky penguins. <laughs> they're always running away. They think having me and Mrs. Crocodile chase after them is a fun game. Hello, penguins. Would you like to see our clubhouse? Here's the slide. And here is our swing. Penguins, do you like our clubhouse? The penguins love the clubhouse. Peppa and her friends love the clubhouse. Everyone loves the clubhouse. Talking. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. <laughs> Hab Spaß, mein kleines Lama. Das werde ich bestimmt. Ich freue mich so sehr auf mein erstes Mal im Kindergarten. What is that little girl saying to her mummy? Auf Wiedersehen. Hello there. Oh, hello. <laughs> Good morning, children. Good morning, Madame Gazelle. Today, we have a new pupil joining us. Her name is Lottie Lama. Hello, everyone. Hello, Lottie. Please make Lottie feel welcome. Yes, yes we, we will. will. Hello, Lottie. I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> hello again. You were talking funny with your mummy. I was talking German. Can you do some more German talking? What shall I say? Say, hello, I'm Lottie. Hallo, ich bin Lottie. Wow! Do you talk German a lot? Mostly with my mama. She comes from Germany. Ooh. How do you say, I like carrots. Ich mag Karotten. <laughs> How do you say, please open the window? Bitte mach das Fenster auf. Bitte mach das Fenster auf. Yes, that's right. Watch this. Madame Gazelle? Yes, Pedro? Bitte mach das Fenster auf. Of course. Oh, how did you know what I was saying? Because I can speak German. Ooh. If you learn languages, you can talk to all the people of the world. Say something then. Ciao, bambini. That is hello, children, in Italian. Wow. wow. Do another one. Ciao, pagno. Niemand hao. That is hello, children, in Chinese. Do it again. Oi, meninos. That is hello, children, in Portuguese. Madam Gazelle can speak all the languages of the world. Madame Gazelle, can we learn all the languages? Of course. But let's start today with German. And I think Lottie will be a very good teacher. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. The best way to learn is to play.
play. It is playtime. <laughs> OK, I'm going to teach you German. Who is good at numbers? Me! Look! One, two, three! In German you say... Eins, zwei, drei. Now it's your turn. <laughs> Eins, zwei, drei. Wow! How do I say... Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> Hallo, ich bin Peppa Pig. <laughs> Hallo, ich bin Peppa Pig. <laughs> it is home time and the parents have come to pick up the children. That's fantastic, Pepper. I know some German words. Bitte füllen Sie mein Auto mit Kartoffeln. Wow! What does that mean? It means, please fill my car with potatoes. Ah, that's why I could never get any petrol. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Mama, Mama! Hello, Lottie. How was your first day at Playgroup? It was great. I made lots of new friends. Hallo, ich bin Peppa Pig. Wow, you can talk German. Yes, I can. Oh, meine kleine Süße. Du bist aber ein schlaues Kind. Welches ist dein Lieblingswort auf Deutsch? Uh, yes. Peppa <laughs> loves talking. Everybody loves talking. Woodland Club. Today, Pepper and her friends have come to the Woodland Club. Mr. Wolf is in charge. Children, please come to the middle. Mummies and daddies, please stand back and watch. <laughs> now, children, I know all about living in the woods. I was born in the woods, and I was raised by a family of wolves. Ooh! Today, I will teach you how to look after yourselves out here in the wild. Imagine you're on your own, far from home, no one else around. Oh, sorry. Carry on. No one else around. What do you do if it starts to rain? Get wet. Ah, but what if you don't want to get wet? Go home. But remember, you are far from home. I've got an umbrella. Yes, all right. But sometimes the only thing to keep you warm and dry in the woods is a shelter. Ooh. It's like a little house. It'll keep out the rain and it will keep you warm from the wind. You make a shelter using sticks and other stuff found in the woods. Wow! Who wants to try? Me! me, me. Off you go then. <laughs> Here are some sticks. <laughs> this leaf can be the flag. It's finished. Well done. OK, who would like to test the shelter? I will. Are you warm and cosy in there, Mr Pig? Oh, oh, yes. I like my little house of sticks. Good. Let's see if your little house keeps out the rain. Ah! The water goes straight through the roof. I'm getting wet. <laughs> Did the house keep out the rain? No! Let's see if the house keeps out the wind. I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house down. <gasps> Whoa! Daddy Pig's house is gone. Oh, dear. Maybe the children should have used bricks. A brick house would be good, Mr. Pig. But there aren't any bricks to be found in the woods. Only sticks and leaves. But we've tried sticks and leaves. We're going to have another go. First, collect big sticks, like this one. Off you go. <laughs> Here's a big stick. Here's a bigger stick. Here's the biggest stick in the world. Very good. Let's have that big stick here. Lay your sticks along here. Now we need little sticks to go over the roof. <laughs> little sticks. Teeny sticks. It 
Itsy Bitsy Ickle Sticks. Use the little sticks, like this. <laughs> Is it finished? Nearly. We just need lots and lots of leaves. Leaves! <laughs> lots of leaves! Loads of leaves! Bundles and jumbles of leaves! <laughs> wow! It's a cosy house now! It certainly is. Daddy Pig, please go inside. Um, maybe somebody else should have all the fun of testing it this time. Me! me, me, me. <laughs> Are you ready, children? Yes! First, the rain. Is the rain coming in? No! <laughs> now the wind. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. <gasps> Did you feel the wind? No! <laughs> the little house is very strong. So that, children, is how you build a shelter in the woods. Hooray! Oh, it's raining. All the grown-ups are getting wet. But Pepper and her friends are <laughs> lovely and dry in their little house. This is fun! Pepper loves the woodland club. Everybody loves the Woodland Club. 